Uh, I'm Peter, and I'm a lead developer at uh, Treasury. Uh, last summer, when I just finished my uh, third semester of my PhD studies, I uh, got an offer to, to join Treasury. And uh, at first, when I, uh, I got to know the idea behind this software, um, I was amazed uh, uh, of, this, uh, of this idea. And uh, naturally, I came aboard. But uh, it was not just me who, who, uh, who shared this uh, vision. Back then, we were like a small family. Uh, but uh, by today, we have uh, almost 30 employees. And uh, that makes Treasury uh, one of the fastest growing startups in Hungary. But uh, what is this vision that we share? Uh, Treasury is, uh, in a nutshell, is a completely secure cloud synchronization and collaboration service. Um, I guess a lot of us know what, what a cloud uh, service is. Uh, we all, we all use uh, cloud services like Dropbox or uh, Google Drive or Gmail um, because they have a lot of, uh, lot of advantages. Uh, one of them is uh, reliability. Uh, our laptop uh, hard drive may fail, but we never heard of anybody who, who loses their data from the cloud. So uh, the next advantage is uh, the, that we can access our data from anywhere, from any devices. We could have a mobile phone or a desktop computer, or we can be anywhere in the world. Uh, we are just able to access our data. And in case we uh, run out of this disk space, in cloud we just, we just uh, request uh, another bunch of gigabytes, and then uh, we, that's all we have. But, uh, all of, from all of these solutions, there was one property missing. And this property, we at Treasury, we, we think that this property is really important. And this is uh, privacy. Uh, privacy is, uh, is not, it's not about hiding something. It's, it's, it's a natural feeling that, uh, that we don't want uh, uh, unknown people to peek into our, into our lives, to peek into our data. Uh, so, Treasury tries to keep all the benefits of using the cloud, uh, but uh, adds privacy to this, to this list. So, how do we achieve that? Treasury encrypts every day, all data before it gets uh, uploaded to the cloud. So, no data, no keys, no passwords leave your computer before uh, they are uploaded. Uh, and uh, you can you can, you can turn any folder on your computer. You can turn it to the secure, uh, we call it Trezor, uh, which is a shared container. Um, and you, therefore, you can keep your familiar folder structures and uh, all your data on the place they were in, on your computer. Uh, your Trezors can be shared with, uh, with uh, other people. Um, because of the encryption, uh, no one can access your, uh, your data except the ones you explicitly shared your data with. This permission can be revoked, uh, and, uh, and uh, even we, the Treasury employees and administrators, are not able to decrypt and access your data, but we have all the resources uh, we could uh, wish for. So uh, to prove this, uh, Back in April, we uh, offered $10,000 for the fir first people, uh, for the first person who can hack our uh, encryption. But uh, as of for today, we had uh, no uh, uh, nobody who, who won this prize. So we raised the stakes. Right now, we uh, we offer $25,000. Uh, for anyone who can uh, retrieve encrypted user information from someone else's treasure. Uh, so where we are now, we uh, have applications for all four major software platforms, uh, Windows, Android, iOS, and uh, Mac devices. And we plan to further extend our platform portfolio. Uh, it seems people really love our application. And uh, we have a lot of features on our roadmap. Uh, we, have been, we, we are working on creating 
uh, a completely secure cloud service, the most secure cloud service ever. And uh, we believe we are on the right way, but we have a lot of things to do, a lot of features in our roadmap. So this uh, concludes my presentation. And uh, our goal is to, to make uh, people think different about how they use the cloud. Thank you for your attention. Very good. Find me over here, if you will, please. Let's get you into the light and into the judges' maws. Um, questions? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Questions for, uh, from our judges. Charlie? You? Sure. Two, two quick questions. Uh, again, congratulations. It looked, I noticed you have some intellectual property protected. You have patents around this, something that I, I read about your company. Um, uh, in, in this area of, uh, of, of privacy and encryption, uh, there is, a, in the United States certainly and, and elsewhere, lots of uh, government interest in security. Uh, uh, governments have shut down uh, email encryption services uh, uh, because they weren't able to. I, I'm a lawyer, so some of this is coming <laughs> from that perspective. Um, have you thought about that and uh, uh, any government compliance uh, issues uh, in terms of having security that is as uh, powerful as you as you're uh, uh, saying it is here. Uh, yes, it is. So uh, that's that. I, I, I can just repeat what I'm said. That because if we are even able to to decrypt uh, users' uh, data, uh, if if any government uh, agencies tries to uh, to force us to 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 reveal something. We are just not able it. So the, here comes the, the privacy part of, of, of this solution. Uh, this makes it uh, absolutely um, perfect for, for, uh, for um, the fields where, where these, uh, this sensitive information is. is uh, the, where there are a lot of sensitive information, like, like lawyers or, uh, or uh, hospitals where, where um, healthcare data is, is absolute it, uh, sensitive information. Why could I follow up on that, but I'm not <laughs> going to. <laughs> how, how do you ensure your uh, technical and geographical scalability? Um, excuse me, would you just... To, be, to make sure that actually you can, you can grow, scale, technically speaking, and uh, in terms of geography. Um, uh, we are uh, uh, we are uh, we have uh, we are we using using uh, cloud services as well to, to store our data, uh, which are located uh, now in uh, European uh, countries, and uh, and our uh, companies uh, is based on uh, uh, is located in Switzerland, uh, so. Uh, we guess that uh, because Switzerland in, in itself offers uh, uh, a feeling of, of security and, uh, and privacy to our So users. your cloud is located only in Switzerland? No, no, uh, no uh, the cloud is located in, in Europe. We are without further, further revealing its location. Okay, that's a secret. No, it's not a secret. We, we use third party, uh, third party cloud. Uh, we just rent, and uh, that's where we store uh, the data and our users' data as well. Tony. Yeah, I, I was curious. How do you distinguish between the end user, the consumer, or enterprise? How are you? How are you thinking about that? Uh, actually, uh, we we created a freemium uh, model where uh, users, where we we have free features for for regular users. Um, but we mainly target uh, b uh, small and uh, small businesses and enterprises as well, because um, it's obvious that uh, ordinary people may not have so much sensitive information that they want to protect. Uh, however, um, companies uh, always uh, always uh, uh, have uh, sensitive information, so. Um, we offer uh, more features and uh, and uh, yeah, more features for these for these companies. So, how's the sales model work then? Is it self serve, or do you have people that are dialing? How do you create the funnel? No, uh, we make it self serve. And 
and what is the uh, rev what is your uh, business model specifically? It sounds like you're targeting uh, SMEs, SMBs. Uh, uh, you, there's a there are uh, you mentioned some of them. Google Cloud, uh, Apple uh, has cloud storage, Box and and Dropbox, of course. Uh, what what what's different about your model, or is it uh, the same sort of uh, subscription model that they use? Uh, Treasury does not aim to 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 um, to get to target Dropbox users uh, to to um, try to compete with Dropbox or Google Drive because they have a uh, it's so great user base that it that would be uh, hard to uh, target. Um, our our model uh, our business model has. Uh, uh, so it uh, focuses on uh, small businesses, SMBs, uh, and we try to uh, offer a, a, a complete and integrated solution for them that, that makes, makes the collaborating of, of the employees of these companies easier. So in that case, how do you integrate with actually the uh, security rights of the uh, company itself? Do you have any kind of uh, integration there? Uh, we are working on it right now. Good. All right, we are out of time for questions, but thank you very much. I'll take that microphone back and please congratulate Tresseritz on his presentation. Thank you.